In this lesson, we're going to look at single and double displacement reactions. So by the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify a chemical reaction as either a single or double displacement reaction, and also write and balance those chemical equations. A single displacement reaction is a reaction where one element, usually a metal, replaces another in a compound. So we, if we continue with our discussion of dance partners, it would be like a guy cutting in for a dance. Let's write the balanced chemical equation for when magnesium reacts with hydrochloric acid to produce magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas. So magnesium and hydrochloric acid is HCl reacts to produce magnesium chloride. So again, you need to do the crisscross, magnesium two plus, chlorine one minus. When you do that crisscross, you get MgCl2 and hydrogen gas, which is a Hoberfinkel element, so we need the little two. So if we go ahead now and look at balancing that equation, we have one magnesium on the reactant side, one on the product side, one hydrogen on the reactant side, two on the product side, so let's go ahead and put that two there to balance out the hydrogens, which also balances out our chlorines. A double displacement reaction is where the cations and anions of the two reactants switch places, forming two new compounds. So usually what you can see is that the metals will switch partners. So if we continue with our dance partner idea, both partners would change. Let's write the balanced chemical equation for the reaction between lead 2 nitrate and potassium iodide. So lead 2 nitrate, Pb2 plus, Nitrate is NO3, 1 minus, so when you do that crisscross, you get PB, NO3, 2. Potassium iodide, K1 plus, I1 minus, so you get KI, and that's going to make potassium nitrate, so KNO3 and lead iodide, PBI2. If you need to review that, please check the naming videos to see how the crisscross works. So again, we need to balance. We have one lead on our reactant side, one lead on our product side, two nitrates because there's that little two outside the brackets on our reactant side, and only one on our product, so we'll put a two in front. We have one potassium on our reactant side, and because we put that two in front of the KNO3, we now have two potassiums. So let's put a two there, and that also balances out our iodines, giving us two iodines on the reactant side and two on the product side. So that equation is balanced. Let's look at this reaction to determine if it's a single or double displacement. So what I see is I see a compound and a compound making another compound and another compound. And the metals switch partners. So the calcium was with the bromine and now it's with the nitrate. And the silver is with the bromine where it was with the nitrate to begin with. So this is a double displacement reaction. If we look at this one, I see a single element and a compound, a single element and a compound. So that means this is a single displacement reaction. And you can see the iron and the lead have traded spots from the reactant side to the product side. Hopefully, this makes more sense now when looking at single and double displacement reactions.